I'm here today to talk about a wonderful project I've been involved in this summer called the Children's University. It's run every day for local children aged from 7 to 14 by a team of parents, teachers, students and local employers. It was originally set up by a local charity and has been running for the last five years. The aim of the Children's University is to inspire children and foster a love of learning. It sounds rather grand, I know, but it was amazing to watch the children working so enthusiastically on all the various projects. This year, the topic and overall theme was industry, building on previous year's themes such as culture and science. Each volunteer on the scheme was partnered with another with a different background. I was paired up with Mark, who was fantastic at motivating the children. He was a natural teacher, and the children really loved him. Not exactly what you'd expect from a lawyer. I'm a student at university doing biology, so we couldn't have been more different. The workshop material was written by the volunteers. I was in a group of six who taught a series of workshops on manufacturing in our city called Making Chocolate. The workshop included taking the children to visit the local factory, and we even had a tasting session. Other groups did things like making their own furniture and baking bread. Each child had their own booklet, which was stamped when they'd successfully finished a project. This was known by everybody as their passport. The children were very competitive and were always comparing to see who'd collected the most stamps. It really seemed to be much more effective in encouraging the children to do more workshops than last year when group leaders simply signed their notebook each time they did a workshop. At the end of the children's university, we held a graduation ceremony in the city's real university. This was held in the concert hall and was very exciting for the children. They all wore graduation caps and gowns, and afterwards everyone went to the dining hall for the official photos and refreshments. It was just like a proper graduation ceremony, and the children and their parents loved it. Every child that attended the children's university was awarded a certificate. In addition, the children who had attended the most workshops received a gold medal each. Some had been to as many as 40 workshops over the summer. The main benefit for me of volunteering for the Children's University was learning from the other volunteers because many of them were older than me and more experienced. For example, I had ample opportunity to practice problem solving and became much better at it. It's a useful skill that I can use in the workplace when I graduate. Another benefit is that it gave me the opportunity to work with children. I'd been undecided about whether to become a teacher or a social worker. While I loved helping the children learn, the experience has confirmed that what I most want to do is help children and their families in our community who are having difficulties. I think that having worked on the children's university should definitely help me after I graduate and want to start my career because I can show that I've got experience of working closely with children. I'm definitely going to do it again next summer. If you think this kind of work is for you and would like to register for next summer, come and ask me for an information pack after this talk. When you're sure it's what you want to do, you can download an application form from the Children's University website. Now you will hear part two again. That is the end of part two.